Hello, my friends. Welcome to day two of Confessions of Paper Edic, 20 days of Christmas cup files. And today I'm using the Santa. I can't even. Oh my God, look at him. I put a little um, Bramble Fox bow on him and some wiggly eyes. Isn't that so cute? I love him. And I cut up a pom-pom and put it on his um, gloves. Oh my goodness. And his hat. I found some like snow powder at Hobby Lobby. I was thinking I might want to check that out and see if it will look good on him. But I need to practice on something first. But isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. So I'm using two little teeny cup vials. I'm going to make a layout in my great niece's 8x8 album. Let me put this to the side because I'll ruin it. These are from Creative Memories. I'll link them below if you're interested. And she loves pink and just little silver foiled butterflies. But if you saw some of my other videos, I always make her albums and she absolutely loves them. But she's only six. So the 12 by 12s are heavy and a little bit too big for her right now. So she has to like ask to see them and then sit down with them. This, hopefully she can keep it in her room and just pick it up and look at it whenever she wants to but oh my gosh you guys I taught her how to scrapbook let me put some pictures up she did so good she picked out everything herself I taught her how to use the ATG gun and the glue and other than that I literally did not tell her where to put anything or Nothing. I printed the pictures and she was on her own. She picked out pink fresh gems. She picked out some washi tape. She picked out her own paper from Paige Evans. Oh my god. It was so cute. I love it. Look at these pictures. So anyways, this is just a little 8x8 album. And like I said, I'm going to give it to her for Christmas this year. Look at the page that she did. <laughs> she was so cute. She loves that animal print and she was obsessed with the Bramble Fox. And... She did this one. Isn't it cute? She picked all these out herself. I think she did a good job. So she says to me, well, you better hurry up and buy the pages, the page inserts that go in here so we can put my pages in my album. So funny. So I made her these little ones. Pink Fresh. And this is another Confessions of a Paper Edit cut file from the Halloween collection from October. Isn't that pretty? So anyways, that is what's going on today. So we're going to do a little teeny 8x8 layout. Now, look how small it is. I can't even. This is a, just a piece of basil white cardstock. Hopefully there's not too much glare on my glass mat. It doesn't look like it's too bad right now. All right, this is a 35 by 8 and I'm just going to put it on the bottom. It's a black and white um, polka dot. And I just thought it would be nice to break up this really white background. I'm going to try to get it on here as straight as I can because I'm going to use some washi tape today, you guys. I haven't used my washi tape in forever. Okay, so there's that. So, see... Her little dress has some teal in it. Perfect. I'm going to bring in some teal with the red and the Christmas colors. I actually scrapped this photo um, 12 by 12. And I can't remember when that's coming up. That might actually be tomorrow for day three. But you'll see it. But I wanted to have a little 4 by 3 of her in her album. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use up some of my tape. Because I can't get the ATG to go completely straight. It's just, yeah, no matter how hard I try it. And I don't want it all over the place. And I do not trust washi to stay. So I'm going to just take a piece and do it flush right up against this piece of paper. Like so. I'm okay with it going over a little bit because I'll just bend it around or something. And there we go. Okay. And I think I'll do two pieces because I'm going to do a teal washi and then a strip of gold glitter washi. I think that would look really pretty. Okay. 
So there is that. I'll do a third one if I have to. But let's get some scissors that are not super good. These were freebies. And I'm just going to cut that. And I got to thinking if I wrapped it around, then I'd have sticky on the back. And then also, if I just folded it over, then it would create a bump. So I'm just going to cut it. And somehow managed to throw these in the garbage <laughs> without them sticking to my hand. Alright, so there's that. Now, I'm not going to be able to get that off. So I'm just going to take my razor knife, exacto knife, whatever these things are called. Take these off. And then I'm going to put my washi down. Okay. Because that way, it'll stay. Okay, let's put that away so nobody gets hurt. Now, I'm thinking, let's do this gold. Look how pretty that is. I want to put it over the paper a little bit. And just like on top of it. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to do this second. Oh, my gosh. Only me. Because I was going to have it go over the teal a little bit, too. All right. So let's do this. I'm concentrating. I want to make sure that I get this straight. Oh my god. Well, that's going to get covered up anyway, so I'm just going to not worry about it, and we're just going to continue on. Yep. Only me. That's okay, because that's going to get covered up. Alright, I went ahead and cut that. Now, I'm trying to get this on there straight. I just want some gold in here. I think it would be very pretty. So, there. This is like the coolest washi. It feels like fabric, too. Okay. I'm going to come around and do that and this. And then I think that I will take some of this. See? Look at that. Popping up already. Good old washi tape. Then I'm just going to put a piece of tape over top of it and leave the backing on it because then we won't have to worry about it. Alright, do the same thing over here just for extra adhesive and then we're going to call that done. Now you can of course do the same thing here in a 12 by 12 layout. This is a metal die from the Hip Kit Club. So cool. I think it's supposed to look like a sweater. And I cut it from this white, red, and teal paper, which I thought was perfect for her little outfit. So what I'm going to do is cut that in half to make it look like it goes all the way across the paper. Just right down the middle here. Okay. And then I'll have this little bit coming out here. And then this little bit coming out here. Just for a little something. Now, this is called poinsettia, and this does not come out until day four. So, I am also have another video with that where I used this cup file, and I think I did that on day four. So, that's coming up too, but this will be linked on day four. So, I'll come back in and link that below. But it's actually a poinsettia in a pot, like a potted plant. And I just cut the pot part out and used the flowers on the top. All right, so don't be looking for that today because you're going to have to wait two more days for it. But it was extra. I made two and I accidentally drew on it. See those black marks? So I said, you know what? I'm going to stick it in here because it matches really cute with that Santa. And then let me put some ATV right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Knowing my luck, it won't be where I want it to be. But I'm just going to glue that down a little bit. Then I'm going to come in with Santa. Yeah, that's good. So I have it peeking out through there. And I want to make sure that his hand and everything is not going off the side of the page. And then I'm not going to put that part down yet. And I'm going to tuck this under him and cover up that part where I drew. And just put his hand in between the two flowers like that. 
I think that's pretty good. So let's get my glue. I think I'm going to have to put some kind of jummies on this because she was all about those pink fresh gems. Oh my goodness gracious. Take it right after me. Okay. So those are now glued together. Then I will come in and put that there just to add something. And it's just a messy little extra layer. Alright, so I'll do the same thing. Put my finger here where I want the ATG. Put a couple pieces there. Strips, I should say. Just put that there. I was thinking about doing something different with that, but oh no, it came apart. But it didn't work out, so I said, I already cut it. I'm going to use it. Come on, stick together. All right, now I'm not sure exactly where I want this guy placed yet, so I'm going to put him down just like that. And then I was thinking, let's put this picture here. And I can tuck the corner into his hat because there's nothing there except like my shoulder, so that'd be all right. And I like how this teal is picking up on her shirt. I think I want some space between this and that. It might look super cute. And so, all right, let's put him right there. Put that there. We'll put this down first. Hopefully, I get this on straight. And you can do the same thing for um, December documented if you're not into eight by eight layouts. December documented would work just as well. All right, guys, I picked out very few things. I said, I'm just making this too complicated. So what I'm going to do is you can take a pencil, a paintbrush, whatever you want, and I'm just going to curl this, okay? I'm going to do it a couple times until I get the curl in it that I think I want. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. I don't know why doing it that way if it's better for my hand to do it this way so just keep curling it until the paper gets a curl in it like that and I'm gonna fold that over just a little bit so in order for it to keep its height I'll put in a couple foam squares these are just circular foam squares and I think I could use my tweezers okay so put one there. Now stay there. Talking to my foam squares like this. And I don't want to be able to see them. All right, so then I'll take the backings off. This will help it stay there. Come and fold that over. And you're going to just want to fold it lightly like this. Isn't that cute? All right, so then what I'll do is I'm going to take a piece of this, but I don't want to waste all of it. I only need a little bit. I'm trying not to push this too hard, but I guess I have to. And then I think what I'll do is right at the tip, put some glue. And I only need a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little something up there. I wonder if this would look good. Because it kind of matches that. I don't know if I want it on top or just like peeking through underneath here. I think maybe peeking. So let's put that there and then I'm going to hold it and try to sneak in this. I'm using puppies because I think they're smaller and I think she would really like the puppy stickers. It's not a hundred percent where I want that. So let me take this and push that in a little bit more. Maybe I need to turn it. Yeah, there we go. Now that's where I want it. I don't trust puppies to stay long term. So I'm just going to pop some glue underneath there. <laughs> so cute. Thinking it's going to look even cuter down here. So, cute little Santa. 
I have to use these puppies on this layout because it's not going to get much more perfect than that, really. Oh my goodness, I have picked out some embellishments that was just ridiculous. Took way too long. I have the super gorgeous stocking. Just going to put some glue behind it. I cut the foot of it off so it wouldn't stick out from behind his hand and it was navy and we did not have that color on this layout so I'm just gonna put that there like he's holding a little stocking put some glue back in there and then this is the candy cane and I'm gonna glue that into his other little hand like he's holding a little candy cane and I'm not sure about yeah, I'll just put some glue under the bottom of that. Let me grab my napkin if I knew where it was. So we're not going to do that because I can't find it. Oh, okay. There, now he's got a candy cane. I took the foam squares out of this. It wasn't making me happy and I just glued it down flat. So then what I'll do is come in with this title that also says Ho Ho Ho. And I will not use that circle ho 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 because it just wasn't making me happy. Put it up on some foam squares. I'm going to put it right over here, this right, I think, here. Yeah. I'm still going to use these puppies that I picked out, which now definitely need glue because... I've messed around with them so much and I think that if I put the holly berries underneath that piece of paper and then come in with this puppy poinsettia and connect them all together it'll look like a little cluster yep that's what we're definitely doing there so I like the placement we're gonna put some glue in there and way too much glue but it'll dry I think if I sprinkle in some teeny tiny, I'm going to have to weed out the super big ones. Teeny tiny pink fresh gold pearls is what I'm calling them. Um, I'm going to have to find the little ones. Um, this is my pink crush studio gem picker. So like just pick some tiny ones and then I can put the little ones in there. And then again, I'm going to have to dump this and search for the tiny ones. Like. Here's a super tiny one. And just put those throughout. It'll bring in some more of the gold and fill in some of the stuff over here. So I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am done with the pearls. And I probably put too many, but that's okay. I like lots and lots of stuff. So I put three sets of them up there. I just thought that I added some nice gold, some here, some here, here, and a little one up there. And the only thing I did was put these two little puppies. This is a present and this is a Santa Claus postcard. I think that is adorable just to have a little something up there. Look at that cute little Santa puppy. I love that. That is so cute. Look at this cup pile. I can't even. I put little pink Nouveau drops in the middle of his nose. And there's the little stocking right there. That's cute. And here's this. Oops. There we go. So I think she'll like it with all the puppies. And it's just a cute little L page on her little 8x8 album. I will put close-ups at the end. I will link both of these cup piles. So again day two day four releases and come over to the confessions of a paper edit cup pile facebook group <laughs> because virginia walker is giving away a one free cup file for 10 days straight and i'll put in the description box how you get that you just join the facebook group and it'll be available every day and you have 24 hours to download it from Dropbox and then it goes away and you can't get it anymore. So make sure you check out the Facebook group every single day. And Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you don't scrap 8x8, just go ahead and take this and make it into a 12x12. And if you had a 12x12, you could probably get like two photos on this. Okay? Thanks for stopping by.